Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor, and actress Gina Carano is sitting down for her first interview since being fired from The Mandalorian. Uh, she's sitting in with Ben Shapiro, who she's recently teamed up with to make a feature film since Disney let her go. Uh, the interview is available on Ben Shapiro's YouTube channel, and I do encourage you to check it out, especially if you want to be up to date on this story. It's really nice to hear Gina's side of things. Do I think this is going to change anything? No. I, I think people who are supporting her are going to rally, and this is going to fuel them to have some more things to say. I think the people who dislike Gina aren't going to listen to her no matter what she says. Uh, I do think it's important to hear it out, though, because in my instance, I, I still think she didn't mean to do anything wrong. And, and the double standard at Disney is one that's too hard for me to ignore. Could Did she make some mistakes on Twitter? Yes, she pretty much admits that. She admits both she and Pedro Pascal made mistakes on the internet uh, and talks about that. So but I, I want to go through a few segments that I think are important to talk about, particularly this one where she seemingly is protecting someone inside Lucasfilm uh, saying that they've also been bullied and to the extent of which would really change uh, the direction of the story. Uh, I, I've sped it up a bit just so I'm not copyright claimed. Hopefully Shapiro won't be out there copyright striking all of us. Uh, but it's important to get, I think, her words out. Again, if you want to watch the full thing, please go on over to his channel and watch it there. If you use uh, passcode Gina, you can become a member. Uh, she'll be doing a film there soon. So if you're a fan, make sure you go support because she's going to be doing a lot of things over there. But I, let's play this clip first. I've been through so much and I've seen so much now clearly of like the bullying that's been taking place and I saw it before it's not like I mean I'm not the only one that's ever been bullied by this company and I know that I know that so deeply that I could share a story and it would turn things around in the media but um I can't do that <laughs> because it would be selling out um a friend that I don't really have the same views as but I'm not gonna you know sell out somebody to to take the attention off me. So when, if that person said something <laughs> about how hard I, I went to bat for that person, it would change things, but everybody's afraid of losing their job. Uh, that's a, a telling right there. Everyone's afraid of losing their job is really where I, I think is important, but who is she protecting? What is she talking about? Now uh, there's more I want to talk about in this interview and we'll get there, but let's focus there. I want to bury the lead of what I said here. Look, there's a lot of thoughts out there. Well, she's means Pedro Pascal because she talks about someone who she doesn't agree with uh, politically. Um, and it's uh, Pedro and her had a very uh, close relationship. Uh, you can see here through her Instagram. Here's Pedro responding. Uh, I would donate all of my organs for you. You are indescribably special. That was 46 weeks ago. My have times have changed. Um, and so, look. It, this this was a post that she wrote. If I let me refresh it so you can see it from the from the from the top because I had to dig scroll down to make sure I got that piece. But you make the world so curious, flirty, and fun with such incredible depth of heart. You were truly are something special, Pedro. Absolutely breathtaking. Watching your journey, you better you better be making the best of your birthday today. I'm definitely going to celebrate from you with, with you from here. This is a great life. Celebrate Pascal's punk. So that was his reply. Just so you can see that was real. Clearly, these two were close. These two were friends. She even talks about the fact that they sort of as they learned they were politically different they sort of reminded each other to constantly be human i'm going to play that clip in a second but that's my point there's clearly a, a hurt feeling here that pedro turned on her um but as she then proceeds to explain regarding pedro uh i don't think she's talking about pedro because she then immediately later you know not immediately but a few minutes down the line in the interview brings him up differently L listen to this section because here's gina's thoughts on pedro the pedro pascal who was your co-star in the mandalorian the lead in that show that, that pedro pascal had put out a holocaust meme in 2018 in which he not only got it, the facts wrong he actually posted a picture from not the american border in 2018 and called it america 2018 he then compared the treatment of migrant children in 2018 to victims of the holocaust in 1941 which is absolutely absurd on every level and of course disney plus and lucasfilm had no problem with that whatsoever they never said anything about it they never responded to the comparison they never said that it was it was anti-Jewish or anti-Semitic to, to make that comparison in any way. So there was pretty obviously a double standard at play here. Oh, and there has. And it's important to mention uh, it is uh, uh, Ben Shapiro is Jewish. Uh, he's there. He's got his yarmulke on like he's a practicing Jew. Like I, I just uh, this idea that she's anti-Semitic is so frustrating to me. That doesn't just because he says she's not. This doesn't mean other people aren't offended. But I don't think he'd put his cred on the line and everything to defend someone who he hasn't spoken to to really get the intent of what she said. It's important to put out there. A lot of people are reacting emotionally. I guess they're allowed to, obviously. Uh, but is she a malicious person who was trying to say something negative and mean and hateful? No, I've always said that. But here's here's what's important. Sort of, He's bringing up the double standard of what Pedro said. And I replayed his clip because I wanted you guys to remember this is just one of a few things he's put out there. It wasn't just one instance where Pedro Pascal's getting away with what what he wants to say. And here's Gina's response. Ben, I mean, 
they've been all over me and they've been watching me like a hawk and I'm, I'm watching you know other people on the same production you know and they can say everything they want and um and that's where i had a, a problem i had a problem because i didn't want to i wasn't going along with the narrative um and and uh, you know what <laughs> i adore pedro now this is important because she makes a shift. Now, could she have been talking about Pedro in the beginning? This came afterwards, yes. You could tell, and this is at 1.5 speed. I know you can't tell when Ben Shapiro speaks because he speaks as fast as me, almost faster. But when playing it up at the speed, that's a long pause she gives when she tries to do the change here to, to try and support Pedro because I do believe she's hurt by him. Pedro was success, successfully like, yay, I got The Last of Us, woo! He was celebrating the, na- the night she got fired. It was a total dis- distraction to try and push this story under the, the, the rug. And it just the timing was was just, I feel like even Pedro, come on, Pedro, like announce that in a couple days. There was no need to announce it just then. But they did because they wanted to sort of push it down. See ya. Now, you could say maybe he was trying to help move the story along. But uh, at the end of the day, I, I, I just you can tell Gina's hurt by him. They were friends as we as we shared here. They had difference of political opinion, but it seems like they were close. But here, to Gina's credit, rather than throw him under the bus, she's about to say really nice things about him. I adore him. I know he said and done some hopeful things. I don't think that posting anybody's number on social media is OK. But I know that now, I want to clarify that. He, because some people said he do- tried to dox Ted Cruz, he didn't. He posted a phone number of to Ted Cruz's office, and a lot of people tried to slam him, saying, "Oh, it was because uh, Ted Cruz had given him a negative review about <laughs> Wonder Woman eighty four. This was a couple weeks prior, but no, clearly uh, he was responding to what happened at the Capitol. And look, I, I, I'm with Pedro on this. I, I actually am with I'm with Ted Cruz's reviews. The script was wooden, formulaic, and silly. Look, a fully fit fueled jet just sitting there for us. But watching with your daughter is fun. I, I agree with that, but I don't agree. Pedro Pascal was the best part of that movie. Uh, and I just, I don't like Ted Cruz. I don't like Ted Cruz. Everyone thinks I'm here just conservative, defending all conservatives. I would never celebrate uh, Ted Cruz uh, supporting me. Gina did. as one of the one times I'm like, Ugh. especially right now with everything Ted Cruz did with Texas and his role in things. I'm not a Ted Cruz fan, but to, to Pedro's credit, he didn't dox. He sent out the, the publicly available office phone number for Ted Cruz. I want to make sure I, I'm covering both sides fairly, but here, let, let her continue. But, you know, he thinks a lot of the stuff that I post, you know, like, but there's so much love there still, you know? Um, and we had agreement <laughs> after we realized we were a little bit politically different. Um, we had an agreement that first and foremost, you're a human being and you're my friend first. Um, and, you know, the two sides that, you know, we're trying to like drag us apart because we're both passionate. And, you know, and that's what's been really crazy is like, you see these people over here being so passionate. You see people over here being so passionate. And I, I love that we're, we're just both passionate, you know? Um, and we just, we think, we think a little bit differently, I think, through our different experiences. So I, I know that, you know, I know that we both have misstepped on our tweets. You know? I mean, right there, she's admitting she misstepped, guys. So anybody who's out there saying she didn't when we've criticized, she has. She did. She made missteps on Twitter. She's acknowledged that she's used the wrong words or was misquoted or misdirected, but she's made missteps on you know, Twitter. Uh, we're not perfect. We're human beings. Exactly. That's the that's the reality. We don't cancel people because they make a mistake on Twitter. Um, but he, he's not a bad human being. He's a, he's a sweet person. Well, and I believe that. And, and Ben's going to go on and say, yeah, look, we're not here trying to, to bash Pedro. And that's I'm not going to get into the Pedro bashing train because Gina even just said maybe she's pretending and there's there's a lot more deep seated hatred and frustrations. And if that comes out, we can feel that way. But I, I applaud her being kind to Pedro. And I think we all should. I see a lot of people trying to hate on Pedro. Look, I, I'm, I hate the double standard. I don't hate either of them. I hate the double standard that Disney's allowing him to get, do this, which, guys, come on, don't say this. Even even the, the immigration camps that were happening, they, that's not the same as this. It is a completely insensitive comparison. They are, uh, and so you gotta you gotta go both ways or or not. And if you don't, then we're gonna call it out. Um, so uh, I, regarding is it Pedro? I, I don't know. I don't get that sense. I don't get the sense that she was defending. Maybe she was out there defending this stuff that was coming out, and she was. But why would they have asked her about him? The one I keep thinking maybe it is, is Rosario Dawson. Now, Rosario Dawson, I don't know if you know you guys, like she could be next. The Soka, the Soka show could, could just be blown apart because now that they've gotten rid of Gina, you know, a lot of fans are out there. Well, F- can we get rid of Rosario and uh, Bill Burr too and Ray Park? 
Maul and Osaka were my favorite effing characters. This is so painful. Here's here's uh, someone who's re- woohoo, we did it. Let's get more people canceled. Can we get rid of all of them? Is sort of the new attitude where it's there. And Rosario, if you're unaware, like people who don't actually educate themselves on the issue, has been you know accused of these things. And the reality is, they were all you know. Here's uh, this is what it was. But the reality is, she uh, she cleared what was it? Sixteen out of eighteen uh, claims that were she was being uh, sued. 16, uh, 18 of the 20 claims were withdrawn. All the stuff about discrimination and stuff that people are saying she did was gone. What's still left are two counts for, about her mom. Her mom apparently was allegedly jumped on top of somebody and did. I, I got to be careful of my terms here. Um, but that's still on the hook, but not involving Rosario from everything I've I've read. Like Rosario has pretty much been cleared by her accuser that this the stuff, the other this stuff is wrong. Um, and so, uh, you know, that she was, he was, they, they came after that they were using phobic language, et cetera. The reality is it's not actually true. Um, and the person has, has pulled those claims out, but that said, doesn't mean they're not still trying to cancel her. They are. Can we get rid of Rosario next? Because Rosario clearly is also a, a bad guy. That's what happens when Disney does this. It, even a false accusation that's cleared will never be cleared. I, I, I can tell you from experience, I, to this day, when, when, peop, when trolls want to come against me and try to cancel me again, they all bring up my past, even though it's false, the, the false aspects of my past, to try and take me down again. And that's how this, these, these mobs and communities work. Uh, they want to just tear down, tear down, bully, bully, tear down. And, and Gina talks about that um, in the next clip that I really want to talk about, because who who is she talking about? It, it could very well be Rosario Dawson. could be Bill Burr for all we know. It could be John Favreau. Apparently, uh, I saw read somewhere that John Favreau had an accusation. I couldn't find it, so I don't know. But look, a- anybody on that, on that side could have had something come up against them that she spoke up and tried to defend. And Ming-Na Wen has been on there. Carl Weathers, they both have been supporting her. Um, they are all afraid of coming forward because they are they don't want to get fired. That's That sucks. That's terrifying. So who is it? Who do you think? I want to get your comments down below. Let's engage. It'll help the engagement of this video. Tell us who you think uh, it could be. I, I don't think... I just wanted to clear up. I don't think it's Pedro. I think there's a different problem she has with Pedro, and I do think she's sad about what happened to Pedro. Now, maybe that is the clarification there. Maybe she's trying to save face in the middle and, and defend him because she sort of is calling him out. And so she's speaking directly to him. It could be, but it also just feels like it was a separate. Per- she's like, well, look, I got to address this because I do, do want to talk about Pedro. The first one feels like a separate story that could be Rosario or somebody else while she was clearing up with Pedro. But I, I want to hear your thoughts. And if you haven't already, do me a favor. Can you please hit that subscribe button, uh, smash the bell and smash that like button helps the algorithm of this video. Now, there, there's one more part I want to talk about in this interview since we're going to I, – I don't want to stretch this out to multiple interviews, but this, this is interesting because she talks about the bullying of, of from Lucasfilm. And this story she's about to get into I think is important. And before she gets there, though, she talks about the fact – this all started with the pronoun issue. And so many people are still pounding her. But Andy, she was against these folks. She was mocking that community. Well, she spoke to the trans division of the LBGTQ plus department uh, to sort of – HR, whatever policy department that she had to speak to and that all that went down. And here's what she admits that they came and told her after they spoke to her and got all their information together. Basically, we're, you know, just two very gentle people and they were like, we're so, we're sorry, you know, like you stepped in what they, they call a gold, a, a, um, a landmine and we can tell, you know, you're not, you're not here against us. And um, they actually reported back to Disney and Lucasfilm you, you know, they thought it would be a bad idea if they canceled me, um, you know, or, the, or if they let this affect anything. So that's a tell that's important. And I believe this, everything she's saying, I feel like she's whistleblowing and sort of saying, look, here's what actually happened. Here's my side of the story. Since Disney's clearly going to throw me to the wolves. All right, fine. This is what happened. So Disney's own department came in and acknowledged, yeah, don't let her go. We don't think she's against us. That's important. And so a lot of people aren't going to hear that part of it. They're going to let that one go. And I think we sh- people should clip that and make sure they're sharing it around there because the, own co- the, the community, the people, the experts who are there to like educate her and make sure they're like, is this person dangerous? Should we get rid of this person? Um, they, uh, they're telling them, no, you, you can't do this. She's actually a good person. We spoke to her. We can tell her heart is in the right place. So that's important. Um, and then what Disney wanted to do, though, is even more horrific. So let's continue like, this. And they just said it was not apologetic enough. And I was like, I, this is her publicist actually speaking. I mean, along with, I think it was with shocking. Disney. Like, 
I want to communicate. Um, they wanted me to get, and all these Lucasfilm employees are railing me on their um, websites. I mean, one of them, a uh, creative director, had a GoFundMe, and in the <laughs> GoFundMe bio, it was like, uh, this is because our ignorant actress, and, you know, and like, it, it was like, you're, you, so they wanted me to get on the phone with like 40 of their LGBTQ community. So let's pause there. She's acknowledging, and this was true, Lucasfilm people who were upset at her were already out there slandering, dis disparaging her. And remember, they're doing that while the person in charge, the trans, the trans department who is saying, you know, considers to be part of that community is saying, we don't, we don't see this as a problem. We shouldn't, you shouldn't be fired. We need to have these conversations. Gina has a conversation with someone in that department and that's how it ends up. But all the emotional reactions inside even own Lucasfilm who are out there disparaging her because of what they've heard or what they've been told by community, they're the ones who freak out. It's important you really get it all into context. Not on the phone, on Zoom. And I felt like you're, you're, all these people, all your, your employees are slandering the hell out of me right now. You think I want to get on a, a video where they can then film it? You know, and I felt very kind of insecure about that. So what I offered them was, you know, the, the restaurants at the time had, you know, started opening back up. And I was like, let me take, you know, four or five of them out to dinner. And it'd be, a, you know, a person to person. You can look me in my eyes. I can look you in your eyes. And let's have a genuine conversation. Um, and I think it's also a bit abusive that you want me to talk uh, to 40 people. And here, 40 people, like, I, I, I just I, that have been slandering. Like, and maybe not all of them have been slandering me. It's important what she's doing right there. Is she's trying to make sure she's careful. Like, I like that she corrected herself. And it's a, you can t it's a tell in a way. Because she doesn't want to lie. She's like, look, all these, pe these people are slandering me. But then she catches herself. She's like, well, maybe not all of them, but it seems like a lot of them were. And she's right. Enough of them were. That, what? Disney was going to put her in the wolves of a 40-person Zoom chat with the community just ri How dare you? Blah, 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 blah. And here Gina's like, look, let me take them out five, six people at a time. I will speak to them directly. Let's have these communicate. Let's really actually have a conversation versus a pile on, which is what Disney wanted. Disney's like, well, no, we got to get them on the phone so we can smooth this and you guys talk. It's not going to smooth anything. It's going to be contentious. It's going to put her on the spot. It's not going to help her. It's going to make her more threatened, more defensive and everything else. And, I, and the fact that she corrected herself, I think also is a tell that she's trying to, she's really making sure she's putting the truth on here. She's laying it all out there. A lot of them probably had. Um, and it was just like, wait, I, I don't feel like I've really like deserved this, you know? I mean, don't you guys see what's happening online? It's like all these bots. It's not even like faces. It's not real people. Facts. It's just, and it feels like who, I don't know who these people are, children or just yes. bots or whoever the yes. hell these people are. These people. Put a rain the, drop. Yeah. And it, these people get to decide what happens to society now because they get enough bot accounts. They get enough people. They rally up some people in a community that the trans community and now suddenly they're taken seriously even though we have no idea who's actually making this movement and they're they're awful and i actually asked the lgbtq commu community um leaders for the trans section i was like why don't you guys address that um it might be healthier if you address what's happening uh the aggressive push and they didn't really have an answer to that they never do <laughs> no one I've never wants to do that again as the person even said themselves it's a landmine the person in the community said, oh, you stepped in a landmine. That That is telling. It is telling because no one wants to talk about it because, you know, yeah, people get crazy when this topic comes up. That's t that's so terrifying. You, op you offered a logical answer to an emotional um, response, and that's not what they respond to. Um, they, they're only going to – they're only going to um, – it only helps if you offer an emotional response to emotional response, and that's what she told me, and I was like, well – I get that, but why can't you offer log like why can't you offer a logical answer? <laughs> this is the most telling to me too. It's like, look, the reality is, a lot of people are out there saying, Gina, you said what you said. You knew you were on the ropes. She never. They never really asked, like, well, had they been warning you? Had they been warning you? A lot of people are out there trying to tell her she's. No, oh, it's true. A lot of pundits are saying, I know for facts they've been warning her, and she kind of was to an extent. Pedro had warned her at the time, like this is why you say it. It seems like she knew she knew what she was doing. She knew the eyes were on her. She knew it was happening. Maybe the warnings weren't explicit, like you're going to get fired, but they're like, hey, can you? You know, clearly people were telling her be careful. She chose to say what she wanted. And she went and said, look, I'm not being hateful. I'm not doing anything. I'm putting it out there. And that's, I think, where the divide is. Some people are like, well, no, she was hateful. She was mocking. What are you going to do? I'm not going to change anybody's mind. I, I never saw her being hateful. Now, I could see what people being upset. But at the same time, I saw more people who are just anonymous trolls, bots, aggressive bullies who are out there constantly mocking her, harassing her and telling her what to do. And she's just not the type of person who's going to listen to that. And that's what 
ultimately, I think, pushed her in the direction. She talks about in the longer interview, and I encourage you to go watch it. She talks about how she voted for the first time and how that sort of changed her opinions as well. And a lot more stuff in there that I, I she unpacks a lot. But I wanted to pull those clips in itself because, one, who is she talking about? She's clearly bringing that up for an issue. And she's clearly hurt and wants to, but is being the, the kinder person, again, showing her true heart of like, I'm not going to do it. But yeah, yeah, no, Disney absolutely is bullying people and people are afraid of their jobs because if you say anything wrong, you're gone. Um, you know, I'm not the only one who's been bullied by this company. And we know that. I mean, they're, they're, they're John Boyega, so much stuff has gone in this company. The fact that they're in Mulan has thanked the tainment camps. I mean, Disney is so hypocritical. The double standard there is insane. So it's important that we know so there's clearly more to the story. May I hope at some point someone steps up and backs her up so we can actually have this information. But beyond that, knowing that the trans community rep at Disney said don't, or I, I guess that her, the, the PR firm, the crisis firm, whatever was doing it conferred with Disney is like, you can't fire her. She's, this isn't right. She, and they were in that community. Like this, she's not that person. The fact that that never was ever would have widely be spread was scary because Disney didn't want to put it out there. They didn't want to defend her enough like they've defended other people. Even though the people, the experts in their field said it was fine, they still were like, no, we're going to... It's crazy. Disney did not have her back and she never felt like... So of course she was on the ropes getting defensive and starting to get frustrated and maybe even sharing some things that she might have known better had they actually talked about it. She this uh, she talked about a media director who the, who came in as well, talked to her and like, you're, we could... I get, Clearly, you're you're a good person. All these experts in the field of PR reps and, and and the trans community were coming to speak to her. And every time they did, they realized she's not who we think she is. And the reality is in Twitter mobs, they don't have ever a conversation. They don't want conversations. They want cancellations. Uh, and so I, I want to make sure you had her words there specifically to know where that all came down. And this idea that Disney's solution was to pit her on a Zoom call with 40 people in that community who were angry and slandering her online call ignorant Satan, putting ignorant statements without actually talking to her. Wait, what? <laughs> That's crazy. That is crazy. That's not going to help anything. It's only going to make more animosity, anger, because you're not going to be able to have a conversation in a Zoom. Basically, you sit there and take the whipping. So, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry is what they wanted. But the reality is she didn't say anything. Her, and I applaud her for standing up to say, look, I didn't mean that. And she actually did correct herself very quickly. I'm not against this community at all. That's not who I was speaking about. This is who I was speaking about, the bullies, et cetera. And there were a lot of people. I was there making videos at the time. There were a lot of people trying to defend and get the word out, but they didn't want the truth. They didn't want the truth. They wanted her out because she didn't cave to them when, like Pedro did immediately. And why did Pedro do it? Well, because clearly the issue affected him personally now that we know about his sister. That's why he did it. But not everyone else in the cast has their pronouns in their bio. So what is this? What, what are we doing here? There is absolutely a double standard. There absolutely was bullying. There was a harassment towards her. Did she say some stupid things? Yes. She's admitted as much. That's where we're stuck. Now, does Disney have a right to fire her? Yeah, they're a, comp they're a company. They're a left-leaning company. Everyone should know that. Big, huge family corporation. They take their values seriously, and they it, it, it's becoming more clear and clear what those values are. So it's your call whether you want to support them, uh, whether you're going to cancel Disney+, Plus, all that stuff. Again, you're right. Uh, at the end of the day, Gina's now gotten a platform. She'll be able to do her own work there. People will be able to support her directly. Uh, and you have the opportunity to. The one thing I think we haven't really resolved in Disney, and I don't think ever will, is the double standard. There absolutely is a double standard that I think is unfair. And it's not helping. Uh, it's not helping at all. It's creating more division. So that's that's the reason I've hit this story so much. I, I see it very clearly. I think Gina is a genuinely nice, kind person. I don't think she meant anything hateful or any of the mean things that people keep labeling her as I've not seen specifically. Do I agree with her politically and everything? No. But does that mean she should have lost her job? No. Does Disney though have a right to do it? Sadly, yes. They can do whatever they want pretty much. Uh, but tell me your thoughts on this. Uh, some very telling stuff from the interview. Again, if you want to go support it, go check out uh, Ben Shapiro's interview. Uh, you can become a member. I think yeah, passcode Gina. Check it out to become a member today. She's got a lot more stuff coming over there. If you're a Gina fan, go support it. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching here and supporting here. If you haven't already, please go hit that subscribe button in the top left. And you can check out some of these videos as well. Have a good weekend, everybody. Or week, depending on when you watch this.